Mr. Rajesh Gandhi, the CMD of the company. Hi, Mr. Gandhi. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. What's changed in the company? I mean, things are looking so good. Clearly, some euphoria is playing out ahead of uh, summer. If you could give us some details, you know, you were telling us last time you're looking at increasing your penetration, your distribution as well. What's the current count in terms of distributors, outlets, etc.? Uh, yes, uh, like summer is uh, has started already, right. and uh, so company has geared up for with the expansion. It has uh, commissioned its like, three lines. Uh, uh, so that was a major uh, shift. That is one thing. And coming to the distribution point, mm. uh, as as usual before the summer, a lot of uh, appointments of the new uh, distributors. Uh, so new you retailers. had so, last time. I think you had around 800 distributors, Mr. Gandhi. Uh, currently, it's is it more than 800? Uh, and also, 55,000 retail outlets. Have those numbers changed? Uh, yes, around uh, seven eight percent into that. So around 850 and uh, okay. uh, around 60,000. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, Mr. Gandhi. Good morning, sir. Thanks hi. very much for joining morning. us. Morning. Um, so milk and sugar prices are near all-time highs. Are you looking at some price hikes as well? Yes, we have uh, taken uh, some corrections in the price uh, from the around mid of February. Mm. Corrections. To, uh, uh, increase the price. Okay. Okay. Around uh, five six percent uh, uh, in the uh, value and maybe some reduction in some volumes and those sort of things. Okay. So which has uh, given us reasonably comfort in terms of uh, increase in the pricing. All right. Last time you told us that your realization was at around eighty one rupees per liter. So that would increase uh, maybe by around two three percent for this quarter, given that you took a price increase in February by five percent. Uh, Realization is uh, upward of, uh, I don't know, uh, 81 figure, I'm not able to recollect, but it is upward of 110 or something like that. It's 110? Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, also, sir, you know, you had told us last time around that uh, you were looking at revenues of what, around 500 crores approximately. I think nine months you have done around 380 crores approximately. So uh, <laughs> could you be looking at beating that 500 crores for this fiscal, that's FY17? Yes, we are trying to do that. So now a couple of days left. I don't have the exact figures, but uh, we are trying to beat 500 targets. All right. You know, Mr. Gandhi, I was just looking at your website, uh, which says that you make uh, manufacture more than 8 lakhs uh, uh, ice cream cups every single day. Therefore, it's only pertinent to ask you which side of this uh, HUL Amul ice cream debate uh, do you stand on? Would Wadilal be affected in any manner? We are we make both the product ice cream and frozen dessert, hmm. so uh, we are fine with the whatever consumer buys. So we are comfortable either way. Both products has its own merits, hmm. I would say, and uh, so we are there. Uh, there is a price difference between the ice cream and the frozen dessert. For hmm. us, the frozen dessert is a little bit cheaper than the ice cream. Hmm. So it's like consumers choice what they want. Frozen dessert is a um, um, zero colossal and uh, low in trans fat and other things. So that way it's a uh, different product and ice cream is where. But uh, uh, what is the divide between these two? It's basically a fat divide. The no, fat I mean in terms of cream. contribution to your top line. Uh, we are around 50-50 uh, in both. So okay. it's for us, uh, it's the it's a, it's a same scenario. Uh, doesn't make any difference because for manufacturing also, the same process and everything. All right, uh, oh, Mr. Gandhi, you know, I've got some good news coming in uh, on the nation's front as well. Yes, we have won the test match. In fact, India has won the, the fourth test match. We have, won, we have retained the Border Gavaskar trophy. We have beat Australia by around eight wickets. Fantastic. I mean, uh, you know, so we were quite cautious that maybe they'll put on around 150 to 200 runs, and that could be a bit of a scam. But we have come in there this morning. We lost a couple of wickets. I think one of them was a run out as well. But um, good times for us. India has come back strongly. The first test was a bit of a disappointment. Australia came and they surprised mm -hmm. us. At one point in time, we were calling for maybe 4-0. But 2-1, uh, we'll take that after the kind of dropping we saw in the first test. The boys came back strongly. Remember, Kohli was not playing in this test as well. But uh, good to see that we have won that. So, sorry, Mr. Gandhi, I had to interrupt you on that front because uh, there was some good news coming in. Um, maybe for, celebrate with ice yeah, cream. <laughs> celebrate with ice cream, maybe, <laughs> Mr. Definitely, Gandhi. Definitely, yes. <laughs> We're celebrating. All right. So, that's good news. But, you know, quickly before we let you go, sir, um, you were telling us that exports as well are seeing some bit of uh, traction. Uh, what's going on on that front? Uh, if you could tell us um, 
you know, how much, uh, how much of your revenues are coming in from exports? Uh, do you, are you looking at growing that particular segment? And we could tell us, uh, you know, which are the key markets uh, you're looking at as well? Because I think you told us that you're looking at doubling your revenues. Uh, no, not exactly doubling. Okay. Um, export also has a, uh, around 15% growth. And uh, we, are, we have a 10% revenue coming from exports. Uh, major of our countries are uh, Austral USA, Australia, um, uh, Gulf countries, uh, and uh, some part of Europe like UK and other countries. Hmm. So uh, we see that uh, Indian food products, uh, especially ethnic uh, market, is getting stronger. Hmm. And uh, uh, we tend to believe that it will be like 15% growth into that segment. The major focus for us is branding into the exports and we like uh, move out of the commodity business where non-branded business and focusing purely on a branding very well quitted. That's All our right. focus. All right, Mr. Gandhi, we leave it at that, sir. Thanks very much for joining.